Right guys, welcome back to another midweek episode with Just Vanning It. So midweek videos for us is about tips, product reviews, and just your sort of day-to-day -day life. It's something that we can give back to you during the week. So this week, we're gonna cover something that's been asked a lot. We have done something with our Starlink that could possibly help you if you have Starlink or you're thinking about getting Starlink. Also, we've had Starlink now for nine months, so we're going to give you some feedback on having Starlink and where we've been able to go. So let's jump straight into it. Before we jump into the um, actual Starlink review of where we've been able to go to and how it's actually been working, let's jump into something we get asked a lot about. We've been doing, we've had this going now for about two, maybe even three months. We have hard mounted our Starlink and we're actually driving with the Starlink on that we can get reception while we're actually driving, internet reception. So why did we do that is that Sue's Sue can possibly do some work in the car. We can get GPS in the car and also we can receive and make phone calls in the car. And one last thing is, you know, Spotify. Put a bit of music on the radio. But it works. <laughs> the speeds do drop a little bit. Let's start there. So while we're driving, I did a speed test on it. So at the moment, we're generally getting about 150 megs download speed with Starlink. Doesn't matter where we've been, as long as there's no trees involved, we'll jump into that in a minute. But while you're driving, it does drop down to 70, about 17 megs a second, put it on the screen, which is not a problem because Sue can do a thing, we can do GPS, we're not there to download and watch YouTube videos and stuff while, we, while we're driving. We're just there to, so we can get all your sort of day-to-day -day things working. And you can be grooving to the music. Grooving to the music. And when I say GPS, it's like all your, using your phone like on Campedia and stuff like that, your camp apps. So when you pull over the side of the road and you want to see something further, if you've lost that thing and you're out in the middle of nowhere, you, you sort of can't sort of work internet and all that kind of stuff. So it's working for us. That's one other one good good point. Let's jump um, straight into the Starlink and how I've managed to do it. And also I'd like to just say one thing. This is actually credit to Greg from Campedia. He showed me this, so you gotta 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 give credit where credit's due. I've done it and I wish I'd done it sooner. Alright guys, so the benefit of us having this tall tall toolbox is that well that's where I've mounted the styling. I have helped other people mount these on a lower toolbox like your standard toolbox the only thing that you got to be careful of is that that dish needs to swing completely 360 degrees flat at 45 or whatever angle it needs to miss the caravan just make sure you sort of put it up there and sort of measure it um, so you make sure you miss the caravan as well I centered mine and I brought mine to the front of the toolbox so that the dish can miss the caravan um, so now what we'll do is we'll jump up I'll show you exactly what I've done. So this is hard mounted, but it can also be removed if we park under trees or if it's interfered. I can take this off and move it around like normal styling. So guys, uh, excuse the wind. We, we've been meaning to do this video for a while, but the weather, we just can't seem to get around it. So here on top, so what I did was I measured, the styling has these four holes already pre-drilled into it. Like it's like you could use a, like a 10 peg to hold it down on the ground. I measured it, I think these are M6 stainless steel bolts. I, I positioned where I wanted it, I drilled through the box. We used some silicon. So what I did is I put the bolt in from underneath and that's actually got a lock nut on it first, on all four, and then slide the stand on and these stainless steel wing nuts, hold it down. And then I've just put these little clips here. So if that wing nut sort of somehow works a bit loose, but two months driving, and I don't even check them to be fair and that holds it so pop these off and just undo all of our wing nuts and it's got a washer on as well and the winning nuts loves yep so good job love that's uh, all four wing nuts in under a minute yes so little washer first and then the wing nut on all four but now this is actually my styling's actually on so I'm, I hope it doesn't move, but there you go. 
now I can take it and it's the normal styling and you can put it on the, if, if, if there's any obstructions and then when I'm done I'll just put it back on here I'll just do one for you and all the other three are the same and then just put my wing nuts back on the flies are next level tighten up your nuts yep tighten up the nuts and then just put my little clip on what I actually wanted to do was drill a little hole through that bolt so this little clip actually goes through like properly but so far we haven't really done any much um, sort of off-roading with it. All right guys, the next part of this uh, Starlink install, we got two options. So I've done it this way. I've actually bought the hardware to do it the other way. Just, um, you'll see why in a minute. So what we've decided to do on the side of the road was, because I've got an inverter and a power bank inside the, my canopy, is that we wanted to actually maybe mount the, the modem into the canopy don't know why we can run it off that inverter and battery in there we do obviously have the inverter and big power in the caravan so we've gone with the option a now a lot of people are not going to have the option a so we'll i'll explain to you what i'm going to do for option b which we've actually helped a friend of ours um do it also on the side of the road well in a caravan park and it seems to actually work so that's that way is actually better but i'll show you what i've done anyway so here we go guys i've got a, a 240 outlet from my inverter here so obviously i can run the um air fryer and stuff so what i do with the modem now like i said this is just probably not ideal um i actually take the modem and i just light like that and then run the cable which i'll show you in a minute and then that's how we travel with it and then when we we get some to camp depending if we're free camping and the and the battery's at 100 percent inside the van i might just actually just leave it in here but if we're going to be staying a while, I'll, I'll undo all of this and I'll, we flop our little table out and it goes there for running off the caravan. So that's this side. Come around this side and I'll show you exactly what I've done here. So guys, I run the cable from my um, Starlink down through. We drilled in a bung plug from a boat. Now, what I liked about a bung plug from the boat is, I don't know about you, but I don't get any water in my boat, so I'm thinking this was dust and waterproof, obviously the O-ring. Now, while we're traveling, the, the plug comes out, and when we um, take it all apart, I'll put my bun plug back in there. And we drill through the canopy, put that nicely uh, sicker flex that in, and then what I do is I push the cable. Now, you, you get about a 20 to 30 meter cable with styling, and I just leave it looped. It's a bit loose now because we've been fiddling there that it doesn't hook on anything when I'm turning and so far like I said it's done it's done all right then through here guys and then I wind the cable up on the inside of the canopy and I've got a hook there that I clip the cable into when I've got enough loop so it doesn't sort of pull out down while we're driving and then plug it into the modem so that's that option it's worked so far but a lot of people would think they don't have that option you know you might not have a hatchback car or a, not a, or a sedan car you would like a like a like a 200 series or something like that so i do think plan b is better so i'm going to explain it to you and i hope i can explain this properly because i'm going to be doing it as soon as we i think i'm missing one part and i've got to get to a sort of like a bunnings or something and we're in the middle of nowhere at the moment so i can't quite do it but let's jump in and i'll show you plan b all right guys option b is to install it in the tunnel boot now, unfortunately, we don't have a power point in the tunnel boot. So, my idea was, I went and bought a three meter extension cable lead thing. And I've got a power point next to my bed and I was gonna plug it in there, run it down through the bed and come out in the tunnel boot, tuck it in nicely, and I'll have a power point in here for the styling. Now, same thing, use with you in the, in the, in the other setup that install that we did, we took the same size bun plug, I think it's a 38 mil bun plug or a 40 mil bun plug. Hole saw it through the floor. I know you're gonna get pretty, don't wanna drill holes in the floor. The, heart, the holder for the bun plug, sicker flex that in and screw it into the floor. And then run the cable from the Starlink, we run it down the front over here so you can't, so you can't see it down through the chassis, up through that hole. Used, left the excess cable inside here with a bit of Velcro strapping from Bunnings. And that way, and put the modem in here. And that way you're not moving the modem in and out of the car and it's all over the place. It can actually just stay in there. This is if you've got two, a 240 in your caravan. Then, if we need to move the Starlink off the front of the um, toolbox, like I showed you, 
you just undo the Velcro straps and you just pull the cable back out and you can move the Starlink 30 meters around the caravan, I thought it was 20 or 30 meters around the caravan. That I think is the better um, install, which I've got the power lead, I've got the bun plug. What was I missing? Oh, I've that Velcro strapping and stuff, but I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be sending it through and it's actually like a 40 mm hole saw straight through the floor. When you don't have the Starlink in there, you can seal the um, bun plug from the inside and that stops the dust and water coming into your um, caravan. If you have a timber floor, we've got a honeycomb floor. Please don't, don't forget to silicon the actual hot where you go through the floor, the inside of that thing so that it doesn't swell up. So guys, yeah, that's um, our Starlink, what we've done with Starlink, which I think it's, it's taken Starlink to another level. We've just come inside to um, escape the flies and have a cup of tea on a Sunday. I feel my um, age progressing, but um, the thing about Starlink is we've had it for nine months and it really has changed the way we travel. We have been able to travel to places that for the two years, I mean we've been on the road for over three years and for the first two and a half years it was always a case of we can't go there because there's no signal for internet. We can't go there because there's no, or we'd actually arrive somewhere and have to turn around and go back because I wouldn't be able to work. It's not a problem if you don't need internet, but if you do need internet for work or for your kids schooling or to stay in contact with the family, it's been a huge benefit. And now actually having it while we drive, fantastic. I just keep thinking back to the time we broke down in um, Queensland. Yeah, in Northern Territory. I think and we had it? absolutely no way of getting hold of anyone. Yeah. Starlink is now an option for us to get hold of family or friends if we're in an emergency because otherwise we'd be paying a fortune for a satellite phone. That's that, that's it. That's it, yeah. But, yeah, Starlink is definitely a game changer. And we got a, I got a question the other day um, from someone um, in regards to Starlink about how does it work where you are compared to where you work. As far as I understand, Starlink is the same north, south, east or west. Um, so all of our, so we got Starlink in Ely Beach. And we travelled all the way down the east coast, down through New South Wales, into Victoria, across South Australia, not not really inland to be fair, um, into WA and now we're sort of heading up the coast and we've done a little bit of this. It's always been around that 150 megs per second. So it really doesn't matter because you're in Queensland, it's going to be faster than in WA. It's just a standard flat as long as you got sight of the sky. One thing I will say to you about Starlink, and it's also while we're driving, is that it doesn't obviously like trees. So we have adapted that when we arrive at a camp. It's harder in a caravan park because you you know you book and they give you a sight. But we've arrived, there's been a tree, that's where I take the Starlink off the um the mounted on the thing and I can actually move it around the site so I can get a clearer spot. But when we're sort of like where we camped now, we're always on the watch. I'm like, Sue, we can't park there um, because this, that, that might be a big bunch of trees blocking styling. So we'll go around the other side. And by saying that as well, we also want the sun for the solar. Yeah. So there's, you know, yes, it's always nice to have that shade because it, if it's getting hot, well, fortunately, it's not super hot at the moment where we are. So, yeah, trees is the biggest thing. And if there was like a mountain right up against the mountain, obviously Starlink is going to bounce off that. It's not going to work. Yeah. And how well does it work? Well, I sit in, I'd say an average of six hours of meetings a day where I'm required to be online in meetings. Um, Starlink does that without an issue. What it does do on occasion is it will actually drop out and freeze. And it can sort of freeze for anything from, I would say, five seconds up to about generally about 20 seconds yeah. um but to be honest my colleagues still, have got used to that it's still better than <laughs> what we were trying to travel with for the first two and a half years where you just don't have yeah. anything and that's generally if there's a slight obstruction in terms of like a, a, maybe a little bit of a tree where you just can't seem to get around it then you'll get more um like disappearance of the, the signal quite more often interference interference yeah more often and but we've somehow wa we just don't have those big trees up here north there's, there's a few trees around where we are now but they're not those huge canopy trees um 
So there was this one place we drove from, I think it was Albany to through down south where the canopy trees were over the road, which beautiful drive. But Sue was like, it's not working because <laughs> the styling can't read through it, which is fair enough. Yeah, 100%. So not quite 100%, but it is way better than anything we've ever had. And we'd like, yeah. you know, I'll drop the little card up here from our first video of Starlink. And we have tried all the other, um, I'm not going to get into it, like um, the boosters and all that. Starlink's just way better. Yeah. Speed. We watch videos. Um, on, like we don't even use the aerial on the on the TV anymore. It's all apps and Netflix, and I watch the sport on Ko and stuff like yeah. that, and the YouTube downloading and uploading. Sue's work. That's all we want it for. Yeah. Is to be able to be able to go out, explore this beautiful country, and not have to worry about where Telstra or Optus is, and try and boost the signal. And you know, we want to go to some really nice places way off grid and um, we've, we've got that yeah. opportunity and I've got, I, I trust the Starlink now that we've had it for nine months. If, if we want to go there, I'm like, yeah, it'll work there as long yeah. as there's no trees or mountains. So, yeah. perfect. So all in all, perfect. It's, you know. And having it mounted to the, this video was more about mounting it to the, the caravan. Win-win. Yeah. I believe don't quote me on this, but I do believe that those dishes can take like 160k winds. So we're doing 100k an hour wind, plus it's tucked in behind the car. Um, you know, I wouldn't be going putting on a pole on the um, back of the van and trying to drive with it because that pole will just do this. It's pretty sturdy on top of my toolbox. It's going nowhere. Um, one quick one, I forgot to add. Someone has asked me, oh, what about like stones bouncing and, and stuff? So... Last year when we did Cape, we didn't have Starlink. We went to try and do the Gib River Road, we do believe it's open. Hopefully Sue can put in for some, some leave for that, because that'll be quite a nice little trip, and possibly meet up with some people to do it. If we're gonna be doing that, again, Starlink will just come off. It'll go in our little bag. Yes, we've got a, a Starlink bag. There's a little discount code. I'll just put a little link up here, a little photo of it, and our discount code here below. So if you're looking for a Starlink bag, it's a pretty good bag, it's Australian made. We've been using it. Obviously, we've mounted it now, but I've kept that bag so that if we do park our van up for a bit and we're, we're going to go off on a holiday or something like that, I'm going to take it down and pack it away nicely so it doesn't get stolen. Yeah, I thought I'd just cover that all about Starlink. I hope that sort of covered any more questions people are umming and eye about it. And also, I hope that the way we've mounted it has given some people some ideas about it. And if you want any more questions about it, guys, drop the comments in down below. Ask us the question. I'm happy to try and answer it for you. But, yeah, another great um, midweek episode. Come join us next week, um, Wednesday. We've got a, a quite an awesome product um, that a company sent us that we've been trying out, and um, this could possibly save you some weight that uh, we're pretty keen to share with you that. But, anyway, from myself and Sue, just van in it. You guys have a fantastic... Enjoy the rest of the week, and we'll see you on Sunday. See ya. Cheers, my dear.